Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump, a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. I was asked a question, what happens if you mismatch the waste valve to the pump size? I thought that was a great idea for a test. So normally your drive pipe is the same size as this portion of the pump and the waste valve, and that provides the best pressure wave size and strength. But in today's video, we're gonna try testing out a three quarter inch pump with a half inch waste valve, three quarter inch and a one inch to see what happens when you mismatch the pump with different waste valve sizes. So let's go ahead and jump into this test. I've got a three quarter inch ram pump set up with about three feet of input head pressure. I'm gonna test out this pump filling a jar at the top of the delivery pipe with a normal three quarter inch valve. And then we will try the half inch and then the one inch and see if that makes a difference with the amount of water we get at the top. I have the waste valve turned in this direction so it will close easily. Let's go ahead and get this started. Build pressure real quick. Now let's head up to the top and see how much water we have in 30 seconds. I'm at the top of the delivery pipe. You can see the water coming out here. I've got a jar, a timer, and a marker so we can see how much water is being pumped up here in 30 seconds. So, all right, here we go. All right, there we have 30 seconds of pumping. For the sake of consistency, I'm gonna put this jar here on my porch every time so I can mark and keep this consistent. So we got three quarter right there on that line. Now that we have the results for the three quarter inch, let's remove this and test out the half inch waste valve. Now because of the adapter, this may be slightly higher than the other one but I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference with that uh, quarter inch or so height difference. I now have the delivery pipe up here with the half inch waste valve, and it does seem to be less water. So let's go ahead and time this for 30 seconds. All right, there we go. This line right here is for the half inch valve. Now it's time to move on to the last size, which is the one inch. Now there is a chance that this one is not even going to cycle, but we'll see if it does. So what I'm seeing with the half inch is that it may actually use just as much water as the three quarter, maybe even more to cycle the pump. And then of course you've got less water up top because of the mismatched pressure wave size. Now this may actually have even less water because we are stepping it up further than before. It is working though. Up, oh, maybe. Time for the last test. This flow rate actually looks pretty good. This might be the winner. Let's give it a try here. Oh, except the pump stops on random times. Be right back. Okay, I got it going again, but it keeps wanting to stop. So let's get this done here. Got it before it stopped, nice. Well, we got some interesting results. It is the exact same value as the three quarter inch waste valve right there at the top. Honestly, I was not sure what to expect with this test. So it's good to see some results here. Well, from what I'm seeing, the three quarter inch gave us some great results, almost filled this jar in 30 seconds. The half inch was a little better than halfway on the jar. And then the one inch valve got us back up to the same point as the three quarter. But for the who knows how many times now, the uh, one inch waste valve has stopped. And so I've not been back down there and I can't hear it anymore. It stopped flowing. 
So from these results, it's still better to have a matching drive pipe and waste valve. Now, if you need to have a smaller waste valve, just move the whole system down to a smaller pump. So in this case, half inch pump would be what you need instead of a three quarter. And if you need more water, then you'd have to move up to a one inch pump instead of a three quarter. Um, because using that bigger valve required more water at the source and pumped the same as having a three quarter inch waste valve. So good results. Thank you so much for asking that question. I appreciate it. Multiple times during this test, the one inch valve got stuck in the closed position. I have to come down here and try to get it started again. Sometimes it'll cycle, sometimes it'll stop. So, all right, there you go. It is just better to have a matching drive pipe and waste valve. If you found this video helpful, if you would hit that thumbs up button, and if you need a ram pump, I have four different sizes available. I'll have links in the description down below. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video.